Welcome to Newosphere. My name's Gordon Burke and I'm spending the afternoon with Tanya Browett from Tanya Browett Creative and we'd like to have a discussion around finding your creative purpose and manifesting what's most important to you in your life but the fact that it's all connected to your value structure. And when I say your value structure, each and every person on the planet has a different set of values. Everyone's values are unique. They're like a fingerprint, like your retinal scan. No two people have the same set of values. So whatever is highest on your values, you will be manifesting in your life. If your health is the highest thing on your values, you'll be super fit. If your family is your highest thing on your values, you'll have a fantastic family life. If your friends are the highest thing on your values, you'll have a huge social group that you'll be working with. If spirituality is really high on your values, you'll be chasing down your spiritual mission. If it's around mental acuity, well, you'll be studying and studying and studying to increase your mental capacity. If it's your vocation, you'll be going after your career, after your business, driving yourself to do that. Or if it's financial, and you're creating wealth, well, I know what the answer to that one is. I've got lots of money in the bank. So, really, your values determine your destiny. And so, it's interesting, you know, Tanya and I have had many discussions about values and the fact that you can actually change your values and your values do change over time. Sometimes they happen in a big hit where you've had something traumatic happen to you, whether it's an accident or a marriage breakdown or a death where it's like shakes you up and it's like, oh, oh, this isn't what I want to be doing, you know, what's the purpose of life? So I think Tanya and I might have a conversation and share about some of our experiences in values. So Tanya, welcome to Newsy. Welcome, Gordon. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> so, so values, I mean, I know in my own, my own sense. Um, I've been on a, a, a spiritual mission for the last couple of years where I've got very, very clear on uh, what it is that I've wanted to do with my life in bringing meaning and purpose to others for them to find their meaning and purpose and that journey you know it's been it's been a couple of years that I've, I've sort of been down that path and for me one of my key strengths is I'm a learner I love to learn things um, uh, and I've also I've got a history of building companies I mean I've built 10 companies in 30 years um, made lots of money lost lots of money um, made lots more again and um, and it's all aligned with values and I clearly see that I meet people all the time where they'll say to me you know I'm not happy with my life I'm not happy with what's happening in my life you know, I'm, and, and you know I want it all to be different and when you get clear with their values they go oh well hold on a minute but the highest thing in my my life right now is my family and what's great in your life right now it's my family but I want all this money and I want this great career well what are you going to give up well that's a good point <laughs> <laughs> often you know you pick one up and you let go of another yeah. which is the beauty of values and actually to be honest I, I think it was only in the last what four months that I really started to look at my values yeah. before I, I I knew just in thinking I had values, but I never had an intention of looking at my values and stripping them apart and really taking a good look at where my value structure was. And I realised that absolutely excellent at, at creating, you know, and being a creator, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I could make any photo that I really wish to. Um, but I realised that there was another half to this this creation was my value of money mm -hmm. and and sliding the two together so it was really interesting because I would say six months ago I was like oh, you know what are where's this going you know I have these massive dreams uh, with you know serving in a creative capacity to uh, people all over the globe and also creating amazing, interesting artworks that you can interact with and that actually has an effect on you and, and that people can, you know, like entertaining in a way, but also moving people, moving people always within and through artwork. So I, I got that my values in creation and manifestation were very, very high. Mm -hmm. There's just these other aspects <laughs> that you looked at. I was like, oh, I didn't look at those. <laughs> So that 
sort of brought me to meeting Rob from uh, Dynamic Mindworks. Yeah. And uh, Rob Whitewood was really amazing. I sat down with him one day and I said, look, Rob, you know, I would like creative freedom <laughs> and financial freedom. And he said, absolutely. <laughs> so I started working with Rob and uh, he really focused us on values. And what I found, there was two parts to this. The environment that you grew up in highly reflects your values and highly, highly reflects how you feel about your values as well. Mm -hmm. And so I think I was dragging a bit of a ball and chain yep. <laughs> from the past like many, many people do. Really? And, and sort of, you know, uh, you know, sort of bound by a couple of those chains, really. And as soon as I started working with Rob, I started realizing the intention of values and the significant power of understanding them and letting go of the limitations or letting go of things that you were just floating in your hemisphere, but not really intentional focus, intentional meaning and desire and starting to bring those up into my work my every area of my life and as soon as I brought them up into every area of my life my manifestation just went through the roof mm -hmm. and it's still going through the roof mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah so yeah. it's been really interesting yeah well that's and that's a lovely state that I love what you think about you bring about yeah. <laughs> so yeah. If, internal mind external creation yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and and I see it all the time with people that I work with the mm -hmm. same thing where mm -hmm. where they're saying um, they want and want is lack so if you've if you if, you, <laughs> if if you've got anything if you if you're a person that likes running affirmations and you say I want, it's not going to work because it's lack. Uh, you don't have it. Um, but but as much as like what Gordon was saying was about I want, it is definitely lack. But also uh, sitting against or beside I want, are a lot of limitations that people yeah. seem to have. So often we really need to look at the both sides of ourselves. I think you mentioned before, it's like, you know, the yin and yang sign and looking at the desire. And if there is want in there, what is it that you need to let go of yeah. <laughs> to get to true purpose and yeah. true desire? Yeah, and a lot of that's through fear. And we've spoken about yeah. fear before is, yeah. is, is, you know, fear is gonna be, a, 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 it's a part in everyone's life. Uh, yeah. It depends how large a part of your, your life you're gonna allow it to be. Absolutely. I think um, fear for people inside their internal mind, they have a lot of metaphors that are linked to the representation of fear. So therefore, if you have strong metaphors, they're strong pictures. So they really hold true to people. And really, often once we set our values, those structures of all those images in your mind, they just collapse. Mm. Absolutely mm. collapse. And so does all the self-talk and noise in yeah. your head. Yeah. yeah. And then you get that space and yeah, peace. To create a manifest. Yeah. Which yeah. is so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I think next uh, video might be on manifestation. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, Tanya, thanks so much for joining us at oh, Newsphere and sharing your wisdom. Yeah, thank you, Gordon. It's a pleasure. Mm. And for the community at Newsphere, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'd ask you to like or share this video if you found the content of any interest. Let's get it out there to the world and get people hearing the messages that Newsphere has to bring. And it's, I'm really grateful for you tuning in. So. Until next time, with gratitude, Gordon Burke.